how to create WhatsApp AI customer service chatbot with a voice flow. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create the WhatsApp AI customer service chatbot using a tool which is voice flow for automation. It has a uh, capability to create an AI agent with flexible uh, reactions and uh, some uh, quick responses that you can set and some quick actions that will trigger and we uh, are going to generate the response for the clients. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to voiceflow.com and this is the platform. Then we are going simply to click on start building here, it's free or get started. If you have already an account, you are going to click on sign in. Then you are going to provide the information that you have. You can go ahead and sign in with Google uh, or a lot of uh, possibilities or options. Now, when you sign in, you are going to be faced with this uh, interface. Here you are going to select or create a workspace and it is named AI WhatsApp I, as I have described this project or this workplace and then simply we are going to start making the AI chatbot. All you have to do is to click on agent. Here we have the uh, start with template option or you can go ahead and put for example a new agent. You can go ahead and name uh, the agent for example and put the modality like that. You can put it a chat or a voice. Uh, also a, a language you are going to select the language if you don't want to start from scratch you are going to select the support chatbot right here and see the uh, model or you can copy the uh, triggers and the actions from here now let's go back and create our own uh, let's say our own uh, chatbot or our own agent i'm simply going to click on new agent here I am going to name the agent, for example, AI or of uh, WhatsApp, like that. And the modality here, I'm going to put it as chat. Then simply we are going to select the language. I'm going to put it English, click on continue. Here we have the manage uh, access. We are going to add right here one. And also we are going to select the uh, uh, contact or the account that it will be editing here. You can set, for example, Jack Smith as editor or viewer. Then I am going to click on agent. A little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, phone numbers, are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now, right here, we have some options that are created uh, in advance. We don't need those. But, so we are going to click on delete all of these then we are going to be selecting the uh, or creating our own i'm going to delete that here also quick start until we are going to see this one this is the uh, start button that we need now for the start button all you have to do is to click on this i right here we are going to click right here and put a space then we are going to select something here we are going simply to take a talk or a text box create this one and then we are going to name it for example a uh, question of the customer or something like that as i told you we are going to set this block for example as a welcome welcome for example message welcome to our store for example or our service or our services like that services and you are going to name, for example, the uh, the brand or the um, the company that you are setting up. For example, our Jack Smith Services. And here we have it. And then we are going simply to make this one. I'm going to generate a variation for this message. For example, I'm going to create five variation then we have this i'm going to let it uh, generate only five now let's go back right here i am going in place of adding something else right here i am going to back right here click on back then we are going to click on knowledge 
here we have to add some data source. Here I have this uh, Shopify store and here we have the data sources. We are going simply to click on create some data sources. Here we have the URLs. I'm going to put, for example, a URL. If you have a sitemap, you can go ahead and put it. If you have an integration, if you have a file or a plain text, get URL, for example. Now I have this, I'm going to copy the home page. So I will put it right here. Now I'm going to click on import. This is the home page. Then I'm going to add all the data sources that we can have. So the chatbot will search on it. For example, here with the about us, click on import. Here we have the amazing product. For example, the track your order. It is a necessary here. I'm going to add this source URL also put here. I'm going to track my orders Add another URL. For example, we have here the catalogs. I'm going to see here at the catalog. What do we have on this catalog? We have two type of uh, services, put this one, and then we are going to add another source, which is the second one also. Put it right here, import. And finally, I'm going to add the terms and conditions. Click on here, add data source, URL, and import. If you want to add the remaining, for example, contact and blog, it is up to you to use add data source and everything will go well. Now I'm going back here to the uh, workflow. All right, I'm going simply to be back here and here we have it. Now I'm going to add another option for this one. See here, we are going to set a, I'm going to add simply a uh, choice or a capture button right here. Click, click on here on capture. And then we are going to set right here the name of this one uh, between the uh, curly brackets. I'm going to put, for example, user question. I'm going to name it question like that or user uh, comportment or behavior like that. Then I'm going to add it here. This is the variable. I'm going to add it here. You can go ahead and add a color for it. Click create a variable. And then we are going to make this one up to here. I'm going to set a response, which is a AR response. Click on here. Then on the data source, we are going to use the knowledge base. Here we have the question and we have the instructions. And for the question, we are going simply to put a curly brackets. Let's go ahead and add a curly brackets right here. And you are going to search for user behavior. And here we have it. You are going to set this as user behavior. And then simply we are going to set something else. But first we have to remove this not found path like that simply. And then we are going to add a text box right here. And for example, I'm going to ask the user, do you, do you, for example, have another uh, task or question like that? Simply put here the uh, question mark, click on generate. Here we have to generate uh, some other, uh, for example, uh, the variants. You can go ahead and add another variants like that. You need assistance with uh, something else. You can go ahead and put it right here. And then we are going to set a choice or a uh, right here, the choice box. I'm going to add it here. Here we have the choice. The first path is, for example, no. And I'm going to simply add something to no. Here I'm going to put a text, which is thank you. You for, for example, like that. This is the text. I'm going to put thank you for uh, reaching out, reaching out then simply I'm going to put here I'm going to generate uh, five variants so the text will not be the same then I'm going to the logic section click on end then I'm going to put an end to this conversation and right here let's go ahead and add another path or from this one simply you are going to click on click a choice and here the path is yes 
here I'm going to let yes right here, go and add another path for it. Now I'm going to add a talk test. What is, is I'm going to put here, right? What is your, for example, like that, your question, question mark. You can go ahead and generate, so for example, another one, or you can go ahead and uh, generate whatever you have. Now, simply we are going to the uh, the AI here, or the let's see here the listen. You are going to drop drag and drop a capture, and for the drag and drop capture right here, I'm going to put here uh, select the user behavior that we have added then simply we are going to make it right here we are going to add the loop for it and we are going to connect it to this one the user behavior which is the ai section with that we are created we have created a loop here process so whenever they say no the uh, the uh, agent will end the conversation if they will say yes we are going to record or a store uh, the question and then we'll we'll let the ai put the work online that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have uh, made a progress if following this tutorial then when you finish it you click on publish then we are going to name the uh, the version name and then we are going to put the integration on the uh, website for example or whatsapp then you are going to be good Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you soon on the next one.